1945. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. There's my strapping husband. What do you think, hon? Huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? My handsome husband. Hon, you think my nose is too big? And I can't get over crying over you. Oh, very strapping. Well, hello, handsome. That's the face I fell in love with. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. One Thanks, Cosworth. 
Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Good old USA. I'm so proud of her. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Huh? We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning. vault -Tec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. <laughs> You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sure, let's do it. Splendid, splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom? You should come and see me! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. Do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. 
Oh my god. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, we'll evacuate to the vault on 11 immediately. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't get stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting that in the vault. We need to get in. We're on the list. God, we're gonna die. Infant, adult male, adult they female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, follow God, me. Come on. on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside we're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. This way! In the center! All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of we you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future Vault underground. Is here for you. Yes, up the Just stairs. All new please proceed. Yeah. No, no. Sounds good. Step over to the table. Take a seat. You'll need your seats before Welcome. we can take you further. Pick up a suit. Right Thanks. Over there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's gone. Our See? home. Sir. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know. This oh, is we'll a be going over good all fit. that. Just right? checking all everyone off the list. Items we have to get through. Prepared for the future, right? Hey there. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Step behind. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete.
Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! God. Why would Voltaire do this? I'll find who did this. And I'll get shot down. I promise. Giant roaches? What the hell?
Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Just get the hell out of here. I got no reason to hang around again. Fucking pansy. Think you can hide? Him in. How much you got left in? Oh. <laughs> Man, I don't know who you- Yes. You are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help. Well, if that's nope. true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Who are these people? Just folks ah, looking for man. a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. 
A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all hey. Mama Murphy on the couch. Ghouls? What are ghouls? God, wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and nope. live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations oh, rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goody. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. But we can't we get right to the to damn thing. One. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security Look, gate. I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Careful, kid. Excellent. There's something coming. And it's, it's angry. Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. Cause EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this day after that was a global event. and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America. Or what's left of it.
Take it easy, Mama. You okay? Fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Hey. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out but there. Even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working from nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer oh. picture. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That jump. It's oh, gonna shush, kill you. Preston, we're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not she far. Knows that Survivability impressive. I take it the missus is in good health as well. They. They killed her. Heavens no. Such a tragedy. If I could feel, I would be quite distraught over the news. And young Sean? What of your son? Codsworth, all the time you were here, did you see anyone? Anyone at all coming out of the vault? Uh, if only I had, sir. You've no idea the desperation for human contact one develops over 200 years. And when you do encounter them, oh, the cruelty. Not either target practice or, or spare parts. But please, sir, don't tell me Sean met the same fate as the missus. I, I don't know if the old nuts and bolts could take it. He's been kidnapped. But I'm gonna find him. Sir, this news, this terrible news. You must let me assist you in the search for young Sean. I simply cannot remain here knowing the lad is in danger. Yes, of course. Right behind you, sir. Hey, boy. Come on, boy. It's time to go.
shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Hey there. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? This isn't a home. It's nothing but an empty ruin. You've got to look past what it is to what it could be. We've got water, plenty of space. Should be pretty defensible. I can see it. Garden plots over there, some snug shelters. Hell, maybe even electricity. You don't understand. I used to live here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn. I'm sorry. But no. I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Miniman out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get.
Hey there. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better.
Keep your eyes open! This asshole's using the stealth boy. Think you can hide? Oh, I know you're here. are a hard crew. You seriously think Damn you straight. You seriously gonna jump ship? What? Join another Find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. The Minuteman could use someone like you. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minuteman. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minuteman. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minuteman. How I ended up as the last one. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, 
The Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So, if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time.
bobby pins. Got it. Hey. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies, threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do.
think I can pick this. Got it. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. You willing to do some work? I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. It sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there.
telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this I place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite. Because they weren't planning to, to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Who? Oh. <laughs> 
How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump Don't you give off. Don't crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three, three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh no. I I I gotta smooth this over. <laughs> shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way, risk life and limb? An old private eye. I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my wife took my son. I don't even have a clue who he is no, or, or where he's gone. Of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I... Guess I can make an exception. I've up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got Anyway, a you got streak. troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Bingo. Malone's crew here used to be small time. This Muscled is Vault Tech interview number... 87. For the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name the Sukin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating. Mr. Um, Sukin, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy? Take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. Now I'm a free man. I should be able to let a guy take this. My taxes? Pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption, 
Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. Oh, that Got it. Ooh, oh, so oh, I got the fidgets. Valentine are both dead. It was Whatever you dish out, I do you double. More stairs? Who built this damn fall? A fitness instructor? Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy. Should have left that alone, Mickey. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where, where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here, fast. One. Two.
Hey, Valentine. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Honestly, I was just there at the right time. Seemed like you needed help. I appreciate it. But a good Samaritan in these parts is liable to end up on the wrong side of a loaded gun. Yeah, I should know. Now, you mentioned something about tracking down a murderer and how he took your son. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer Ooh, that scrapped for part. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. Oh, I... Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. It's the new guy. That's you, right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Let's see what you've got. Self-defense at its best.
Project McDonald, which is green. You don't mean nothing. Hey, Arturo. Got some great stuff. If you're in, let's see what you don't forget to. Uh huh. You read the paper? Sometimes you gotta wonder. Dips. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? Railroad? Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> You keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me you up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? I don't know how you found him, but you deserve a reward. Here, from a rainy day fund. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a Whoa. new partner. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... It's okay. They just... You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means. Anything though. else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone Good take question. him? question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way? I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left right. eye. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer and is. He bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah. Big difference between an infant and a ten-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. Could have a son of his own. 
Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he Security went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad he's more words. than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Lock tight. Nick. Stubborn lock, ain't it? No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for readers only. Combat zone. Stay clear if I was you. Institute he'd you come ever running. Think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little oh, less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? I'm trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stands. Had if you are kid. done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible <laughs> citizens. I was just leaving anyway. Piper. Good luck with McDonough. Just, uh, watch yourself around him, okay? The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked if it If there up. was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house I've heard him. the sob stories before, so save them. Just trust me. It's important. You have my well, word. you do have an honest face, and it's not like there's anything important in an abandoned house. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but what the hell? Here you go, honey. Now, don't do anything in that place I wouldn't do. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind.
place seems small to you? Well, that's one way to hide a room. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco mm, Sunlight. Interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. She's right back here. Hurry! I get the feeling we're being watched. <laughs> Locks really strong. Hell yeah. Hello. What are you saying?
How long San Francisco Sunrise. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. And I'm telling you, that nose is second to none. Okay, boy, let's track him. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Not sure if they were trying to pin him down or had terrible aim. Torn up by his own turret. Took out the targeting computer with one bullet. This guy's a crack shot. Big bullets. Kellogg's preferred caliber. Bloody bandages. I'm telling Dog you, meat can track that this. Kellogg's still out there. None. We've got to track him, boy. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Looks like this one thought he'd get away. No such luck. Lost the scent boy? Gwyneth Stout. One of his creature comforts. Dog meat pick up the scent again? <coughs> okay, boy. Let's track him. <coughs> we gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg.
awful lot of rads around. We should get out of here. It's not sure who started it. This traitor never stood a chance. This didn't do any good for them, did it? Bodyguard robots didn't fare too well. Known mercenary. What Exercise have we here? Extreme caution. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. We're still on track. Another one of his stogies. What do you think, boy? Was this our man? <coughs> Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy.
intruder in Fort Hagen, eliminating hostile. Want me to take a look at that terminal? You just... That's it. Say the word. No one was out of way with machines. Looks like the last time I got a checkup in here. minds to build a place like this. They had no expense, did they? Going camp. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a roommate. Leave. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of me. After that, I figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky.
security's too tight. Hey. Go on. Think you can unlock that terminal? Good plan. What is this, amateur hour? Oh. Well, now that is clever. But if I... Hmm. Hmm. Sure, that was gonna do it. All right. Let's try a slightly different approach. Open for business. Hostile sensor reading detected. Detected. Curious. Att Got it. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. Can't break the code. You have that option. Hey. There's something you need. See what you can do. Can say that. Some serious subroutines running on this box, but maybe. Let's see about this. Nope. Not that either. Got it. There we go. <sighs> okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Most of 
resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath! Give me my son! Give me Sean! Right to now. it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out. But if you're hoping now. for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen, pal. Your boy's not here. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is, nothing God, will you're stop persistent. me. I give you credit. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know I am, Kellogg. Take a look around. Barely Get all human. the intel this place can hide. This place got hit hard. So, Kellogg what Hey, Valentine. We know where your son is, but even I don't know how to find the Institute. And they there has to be a way, Nick. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever.
Don't move, Synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear. I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Anything I can lug for you? At least someone in this town did more than just stand and gawk. Hey, Arturo. Glad security took care of that madman. Glad security took care of that madman. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old you, sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they the have Institute. Sean. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by True everyone. Enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really Where knows. the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed Kellogg. them Sean. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man You're at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they have. Anyone could get a dead brain to sing. It'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is Jesus, gonna work. Nick, gross, seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. Not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more and steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear.
hear how this whole story got started. Here. It's Pulled big, the wool loud, out from under your eyes. Corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. You see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? But that's okay, because he only serves one thing. Here's uranium rock, a song about people getting rich by fighting. We can talk about guns. Or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. Let's see what you have. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. What's that for? Self. Prescribe. Better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said that. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day. Me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. No, I do have to say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handed back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? 
You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Sure. Let's take a look. A gun for every occasion. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do Being some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, It's Claire. not all about sampling those chems, either. Maybe if you stop using, you can what? focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using My it? My mistake. What? No. It can't. It, it, it... It's you! From Sanctuary Hills, right? Wait. Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on Are the you? list. Look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out what? recently. vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. No. You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh... I, oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit. Right? I'll see you there. Before you even... Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten all about the I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big little bird. Dr. Amari? Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. Doctor, 
It's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and Fine. so do we. I'll take a look, but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could but fit him. An incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his Don't brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the Whenever risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dying. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, That's Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use We two? load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, oh, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you won't turn out like him. You're good And boy. all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. 
Why don't you've always been my good boy? This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? You're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen. It's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Shutting down. Hmm, impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah, uh, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Just Hopefully it's all... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end.
This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. <laughs> Almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a Forget priority. I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Ah, oh, what were you hiding? Hey, check this out. No movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever... How do you before. feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in yes. and out. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find You're him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after if him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. 
That was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You... feeling all right, yeah, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Yeah. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me.
take it back. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side. We can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Let's hit them from both sides. We'll split up, and you can join whichever side you think needs the extra support. All right, people. You heard the General. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. like to hold up inside old here's how we're gonna play this you hold here in the courtyard and take care of any eggs you find the general and i will clear the wall yes, sir. let's do this general
What the hell was that?
So we don't want to just let the Meyer Lurks keep it? Sure, we don't want to just let the Meyer Lurks keep it. Uh, <clears throat> Let's focus on getting the radio fixed. I think I got something over here. to focus on taking the castle back. Hey, we need to focus on taking the castle back. All right, good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you. Clear out any so remaining Myrlurks or eggs the you Meyer find. Keep it? Cool. Let's go see if there's anything left. So we don't want to just let the Myrlurks keep it? I can't believe we actually managed to take that thing down. Well, I think it'll be worse. See what you can do with it. And then we'll see what else is left in this sort of place. did it. I've been watching the Minutemen fall to pieces for so long, I just... Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So, see what you can do to help.
the world will be shown Adam's glory. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Adam's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Adam, to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Though Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be you left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. I'm gonna have a lot more limbs and a lot less hair. The Great Divide comes. Take it nice and slow. No sudden move. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not I'm going not to work. Stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead. He's dead. Don't you lie to me. I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd so make it. you... You killed him, eh? And what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from you there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at Why me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Can you tell me anything about the Institute? I need to get Can in. Can I? There. Are you joking? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate what death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped oh. him. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. But your son is one of them. I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help. But I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this can return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring I it to me. That's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you, all right? 
Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your it's homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only that one. That means you're going to have to use it now. Have you ever seen an Institute courser? I don't really know. Doesn't sound familiar. Not surprising. They don't come out often. And when they do, few see Quirsers them. Courses are Institute synths designed for one purpose. Their hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do. And you're going to have to kill one. Is that even possible? They're not invincible, so technically it's possible. Whether you're capable of it. I guess we'll Every Courser out. has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a now, Courser. I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a You're good plan. to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want now, to head there. The relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pit boy when you get right. to the ruins. Tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get not killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it I... badly. I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Whatever is making that smell needs to seek medical attention. Immediately. It is rank in here. Stay smooth skins much longer if we don't get a move on.
Enforcers on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby. you think still works? Mm -hmm. Last mistake!
Hey, you're dead. Got it. Security's too tight. Got it. Are you here for the synth? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is... If Fuck you're you. not here for the synth...
away from me. Use a little help over here. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K-198. But I prefer Jenny, so yes, I'm a synth, if you haven't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him, too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this Thanks happened. again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own, or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again, under better circumstances. Good neighbor, huh? You looking to get stoned or stabbed? Every weapon you see here could be the different. Let's see what purchase of a run. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it...
shame to see a place like this neglected. Real shame to see a place like this neglected. Spins. Uh, and which starts with R? went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my question. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? You wanted to see us. So that means you're playing by our rules. So, answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. Last question. Why are you here? I tracked down and killed a courser at Green Tech Genetics. Now I need help breaking the code on his courser you chip. Have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even glory. News a flash, money. boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? I Just owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Hopefully, we can work something out. What you're asking for puts us in a tricky position. Yes, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, don't try anything, stranger. You need some? Tom, our visitor here has a courser chip. Oh, for real? Oh man, it's been ages. Right, some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. Fine, it's yours. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little courser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is going to be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got... Uh, I 
got you, you institute bastard. I got you. All right, soft way in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass number. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for you. Yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Dad. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Don't try anything, stranger. I'm not gonna stay smooth skins much longer. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a course. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free. Or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could from memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone Here's to shit. Here's a simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you... You know the craziest dead. part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the Relay. relayators on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises, but if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's can you? relay. I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that it's my zero. only hope for ever being normal. So you find go it. on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Oh, do you smell that?
What do you need, General? Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They killed my wife. Oh. I'm sorry. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I've fought the Gunners before, and something tells me this was just them probing their defenses. They're gonna need your help. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... Teleportation? This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals. But it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it. But it's gonna take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier stuff. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary. If you want to build it there. We're working on that. I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind... I can already see this is gonna take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss him so much. Sturgis. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck.
Hey, Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. I'm ready when you are. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, and what they're up to. Yeah, this, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration, okay? Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it! Hold on to your butt! I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, what's Sean. Going on? Father? Father! Shh, 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 it'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I know you. Go away. Father, Father, help me. There's someone here, help me. Please, Sean, I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door! Father. father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. 
Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am... I am... Your son. It's really you? After all this time. Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten year old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten? But 60 years. That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute. And now it's Lita. <laughs> it... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me to like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227. The Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... 
To have some amount of What revenge. else can I say? To ease your mind. I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive Greetings. servo. The third primary as the drive Institute's drive requisition drive. vendor, as far as I, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Let's see what you've got. Long past their projected lifespans, if you ask me, Hi, Doc. they, weren't they were built pretty well. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't up. mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Yeah. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find top. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Well, I can't argue with that. No visible reaction to the K-14 combat. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Rushed work is sloppy at best, and deadly at worst.
Well, that was productive. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. This is day... 8 of Trial 6. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. After this, Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's well, it, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations. Some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That even now would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice, just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the yes. lab. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. That's it. Detected. Negative sensor read. Yes.
it. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing? He won't see reason. Then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing is not right. It needs to then stop. should find this after... And after I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand? I'm make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Doctor, hold somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. Humanity's future is taking root if there right is a God. Here. Excuse me, Doctor. He have mercy Welcome. on us all. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. We're all looking forward to working with you. Nothing to report, sir. You're here. Glad you made it. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel so only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of Ransacking yours. my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Greetings, sir. Are you seriously thinking? Heading over to robotics to Report knock some anything heads suspicious to the They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You're going soft on me a lot? Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions. Hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped Synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. So basically, you're the secret police. Secret police? If that's a pre-war reference, then I'm afraid it's lost on me. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation Synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our 
coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough probes. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. If you're the acting head of the ESRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. Father's work has been a real inspiration for me. Reporting status. All functions normal. All systems nominal. So much research, so little time. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefine. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Maidens out to an early lead, but piece of junk's right behind. 
Old Rusty's as steady as ever. Let's give him a hand, huh? This is one hell of a race! It's a great night out at the track. Hey, boys. We've got a good, clean race today. Absolutely no funny business. I'm ready to move in, sir. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. We're in this deep with the Institute as is. Couldn't hurt to have someone with real combat training watching our backs. All right, let's go. Right behind you, sir. secured. Who's there?
Hell yeah. Keep me fed. Hold up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. To yes. To reset the synth's cognitive functions. Speak. Call code out loud. The code is Gamma Seven One Epsilon. Well done. Well gear, I'm going to guess. You two are agents of Just the Just like me. So, made it to no. the top. Is the... This is nicer without the Raiders. Not much. Nice work, sir. I'll take this. place is nicer without the Raiders. Not much, but nice. This place is nicer without the Raiders. Not much, but nice. This place is nicer without the Raiders. It's an honor to have you here, sir. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. The Institute created that synth, so the Institute is responsible for what it does. I disagree. A synth is no more inherently evil than a handgun. When a man dies by gunshot, is the weapon's maker blamed? Of course not. The blame rightly falls on he who pulled the trigger. Yes, we created the synth. But whether they intended to or not, the railroad's agents turned it into a killer. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't Sir, reach Sir, we've had another situation. A code well, red. This is the third time in two weeks. This is unacceptable. Software. How can this happen? think there was a system glitch. We We're looking into it. They're all useless. I'll figure out. All right. All in the meantime, now. tell the others Your new quarters are here, sir. More patrols and more Hi. Rounds. Your new quarters are here, you sir. See anything even remotely suspicious, report it immediately. This absolutely cannot happen When you're finished again. here, yes, sir. Got it? Understood. Father wants to see you.
Sean. Ah. Hello, Father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from Institute you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths. In their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient. Yes. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You doubt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually, they are a minor nuisance. But lately, they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon. Before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Sins. That would only complicate matters. I'll act quickly. You can count on me. You'll have a contact waiting for you just outside Bunker Hill. Good luck. X4. I've been waiting for you. Sorry to have held you up. Try and keep up from here out. Our targets are inside. Four synths under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is un The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely... In
I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. You're safe, okay? I'm gonna let you go. Oh, God, thank you. given us another chance at life. We won't forget it. Hi. We'll get somewhere safe as soon as you're gone. Hey. Thank you for sparing us. Yes.
Who's there? Someone there? Ah. What's that? Hostile sensor reading detects someone present. Engaging hostile flight form. Son, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason, but now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate, an infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized the contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault, I'll admit. When I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. You could have let me out decades ago. Until I became director, I had no idea you were there. And after, there was initially no logical reason to do so. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time, attempt to find me. Now I know the answer. That's all this is to you? All I am to you? Just another experiment? No, that's not all. But still, I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been... For the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? I made a choice. I let the synths go free. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? They were afraid. They didn't want to come back here. Afraid? They're machines, artificial. They're incapable of being afraid. This was such a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? What if I don't want to represent the Institute? Have you thought about that? To be quite honest, no, I hadn't considered that. It would be such a poor decision on your part. 
I had not given it much thought. So where does this leave us? I need to be sure I can count on you going forward. I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hope you shared our vision for the future. I'm afraid there's no room for sentimentality, Father. If you are not with us, then you are against us. Whatever you do going forward, do not interfere with the Institute's plans. I hope. I hope you can find some amount of peace. Fine. If that's the way it has to be. Goodbye, Father. Stay smooth skins much longer if we don't get a move. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Whatever you're making, that's now. has matured mm -hmm. nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences. We found a new frontier. Transcriptive Foul. exon strands have formed. Oh, do you smell that? That's good. It is. But there's only one way. To know if it works. It is rank in here. All right. Here we go. Uh, uh. No. Making that smell needs we to seek wait. medical attention immediately. How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week, and well. I guess we'll see. Event. You kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. It is rank in here. Oh, do you smell that? Taking rats here. Don't take your I've made my choice. She's the institute the loss in her is own now way. our enemy. I always knew that day was coming. The question now is what are we gonna do about them? I say we attack. Take the fight to the institute. I'm all for that. But we don't have any way to hit them yet. You should give Sturgis that holotape with the institute data on it. With any luck, he can use it to find some way in. In the meantime. We can focus on building up our strength while Sturtis is working his end. No half measures. This time, when we attack, we finish the job. Once and for Apparently, all. Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. To visit. 
die. I almost thought you wouldn't. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... You willing to do some work? I can't help right now. It's a free country. Let me know if you change your mind. Sturgis. You willing to do some work? I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could just make sure we can sleep. Right. There's a workbench over there. Uh-huh. Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean... Look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary. Knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some Institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, Captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So... I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time and Mom was... out of the picture. So we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with a caravan, and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. Piper, you saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Now everyone in the Commonwealth it's will know. Here at Radio the Minutemen are back. Ugh. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Excuse me. Ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Who are you? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minuteman. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Glad to meet you. We can use some more veterans around here. Ah, well, you're right about that. 
I feel like some of these you've got still may need their diapers changed. What do you actually want? Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? The Commonwealth needs the Minutemen. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. We can always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. Sure we don't want to just let the Mirelurks keep it? Ooh, I don't even recognize the place ah, with all the fish remains. Good. Looks like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trips. Now is finding a way in. Do you know some way to open this door? No. And even if we could blast it open, we'd probably destroy what's inside while we're at it. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the Northeast Bastion. Ooh, I don't even recognize the place without all the fish remains. Ooh, I don't even recognize the place without all the fish remains. Ooh, I don't even recognize the place without all the fish remains. Ooh, sure we don't want to just let the Mirelurks keep it? Ooh, I don't even recognize the place without all the fish remains. This was the General's Quarters. Used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Hmm, tunnel's blocked by this rubble. We'll have to find some way to clear it. Let's get down there and see if there's still a way through. Pretty dark down here. We better watch our step. So I guess that'd make this the dungeon. Huh? So I guess that'd make this the dungeon. Huh? What was that? in the castle What's since for? uh, forever, as far as I know.
Ah, that explains all the landmines. This is, well, was, General McGann. He had your job back when Must I first got joined him. trapped down here when that sea beast attacked the castle. Ah, uh, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. Ah, guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. This old geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. Excellent. The armory is still intact. Every. Thing we need. Just waiting for us. You found the schematics for building our tomb, right? This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across. Artillery? Great big guns. Blow up our enemies from miles away? Any of this ringing a bell? Hmm, I don't even recognize the place without all the fish remains. Like you've got everything we need. As soon as you get some artillery so built, we'll do a test fire calibre. Sure, we don't want to just let the Meyer Alerts keep it. Hey there. Ah, oh, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. Now here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedoms. So we can confirm we're ready. All right, General, if you can hear me, we're ready. Toss one of those smoke grenades into the target area and start the test Just in case. 
battery support. Use it wisely, General. I just need to trade gear with you. Ah, I enjoyed that, General. Now we can really start taking the fight to our enemies. Excuse me. I've got to hand it to you, General. You really turned things around for the Minutemen. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minutemen had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? Yeah, she definitely knows how to take charge. Ha! That's a bit of an understatement from what I hear. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers, but I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Minutemen means we must be doing something right. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. What'd they use you for? And here they come! I think someone was using Old Rusty's as steady as ever. Let's give him a hand, huh? Bob's your uncle is coming up fast. We got some tough competition out here today. This is one hell of a race.
Something's out there. Pin him down! Nifty toys in here.
Need some cover fire over here. Bunch of raiders flinging fire? Not even a challenge. Most of them were never gonna be worth forging in the first place. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But, They're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go! What's You're right. Gonna be, I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home. Last chance, Jake. Sorry, I, I messed up. I panicked. Always happy to help. I don't know what I was thinking trying to join them. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with me. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. If 
That's what you want. Do this. Keep your heads down. Hey. Personal, just you or me. This is normal for other journalists. goes nothing. What the? Boy, I told you. Abraham, what's going your on? Face here again. Is I... that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if- Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. Hey. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. I think you should hang on to that sword. It'd put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help me. Got a weapon here for every situation. Let's see what you have. A gun. Sure.
tight. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. <clears throat> Is there something you need? No, nothing. Okay. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is incredible. It is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. Whatever You're is making that to smell needs to seek lab. medical attention. Or Whatever is making that smell this. needs to seek Don't. medical attention. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. It is rank in here. Oh, can you smell that? I think we found a new frontier of foul. It is rank in here. I think we found a new frontier of foul. Stay smooth skins much longer if we don't get a move on. Please, just... wait. You're not with the Gunners. Are you here to help us out? I'm here to help. What's the problem? It's the Gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a bit of a dust-up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were gonna fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, it sure would help us out a ton.
ain't looking for trouble, I hope. You're with the Minutemen, right? The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls has holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. Can't remember the last... ...time I had clean fingernails.
Hello, sir. The gunners came back. Hit that settlement pretty hard, and they're in bad shape. Damn. I was really hoping we could prevent it this time. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. <clears throat> Is there something you need? No, nothing. All right. Were you able to clear out those ghouls? Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? That's great news! Fella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude. And our support. One of these houses would be a good place to set up some beds. I just want to trade a few things. Welcome to Nowheresville. Population, this sorry group. Yeah? I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. Hi. Is there something you need? No, nothing. No problem. This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. It's just past 10 p.m. This was just delivered by a robot. Anybody in the vicinity of Grey Garden, please go see what they need there. Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do.
there. What was that? So, around or through? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Oh, by the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together.
Bye. Glad you made it in time, General. I guess we're about to find out if these new Minutemen really have what it takes. We've seen a lot of those Institute crow things sniffing around. Looks like they're getting ready to try to take it's us out. Midnight. We've called in Radio volunteers, Radio. so we aren't short of people. Nothing to report. We'll see how these greenhorns do in a real battle. But our defenses could use some beefing up before it's too late. Got it. I'm on it, General. Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Every weapon you see here could... I've got a few... Murder.
What's that for? Oh, new face walking. Let's see what you've got. Cash or trade? Let's get started. We have a swarm of attackers approaching from South Boston. I hope there aren't too many of them. Something's out there. Incoming attack from the southwest.
Marines have just teleported on our location. Tough fight, but I knew the Minute Man were up to the challenge.
Oh, that's better. It's time for us to strike back against the Institute. I have some good news for you. Sturge has found a way into the Institute. We can launch an attack whenever you say Listen the word. Up, kiddies. The Institute thought they could push us good. around and we showed them. The I'll get the details from Sturgis while you get the Minutemen ready to attack. Yes, sir. We'll see how they like it. We lost some good people. Hey, boss. I've been hoping you'd stop by. I found you a way into the Institute. That's great news. I was kind of hoping there'd be something worth all the time I spent cracking their encryption. <laughs> Turns out there was. One of the things in the data you stole was a plan of the whole Institute complex. <laughs> including the older sections that used to be part of CIT. Turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs out to the river. Brings in cooling water to their reactor. Its entrance is underwater and is blocked by a security grate. Also, the whole pipe is labeled high radiation danger. But there isn't any other way in that I can find. So it's this, or nothing. Good work, Sturgis. Thanks, boss. I wish there was a better way. But if there is, it's not in this data. I did manage to pull the code to open the grate. So all you have to do is survive the trip. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control and use this holotape to teleport everybody into the Institute.
Finish repairs immediately. There we go. I'm still in one piece. Everybody else made it? Good. So this is the Institute. They could have just held out down here forever. Why'd they need to come mess with us? They think they're better than us. They should have read their history. That hasn't ever turned out well. In any case, here we are. No turning back now. You're gonna need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Once it's attached to the reactor, it can be de detonated remotely. Get that on the reactor? and we can trigger an explosion that'll destroy everything the Institute has ever Just built. Just make sure we give the civilians a chance to escape before we blow the place. We're not here to commit mass murder. You better hurry. They're gonna realize what's going on before too long. Sturgeon, you'd better get to work on this teleporter of theirs. We need that thing running as soon as possible. You pull us back up as soon as we give the signal. And anyone from the Institute who wants out, you let them go. As long as they you got it, boss. Them. about these old computers. Thank <laughs> you. 
how inch trust me So this is what it looks like. Man, no wonder they prefer it. Whoa, you win! What was that? Found them and they did not Attacking enemy. What was that? See that? Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. No enemy detected. Movement detected.
General. Found the reactor. Looks like you need to get yourself to the advanced systems area. Only, well, it's locked. Can't override it from here. Looks like the command can only come from the director's personal terminal. You're gonna need to get access to it somehow. Hey, who said you could hide? Hey, they're here. You're all bravado and no brains, aren't you? I didn't expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. I'm sorry it's come to this, Sean. You're sorry? You can't be that sorry if you're here going through with it. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? All the enemies you've created? You, you can't imagine why I'd be standing Perhaps here? Perhaps I didn't think to count you among them. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task. And ruin humanity's best hope for the, the future. The only question left, then, is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean. If you help me, fewer people will die. I'll have no hand in what you're doing. Now go. Leave me. Son. All our work. Laid to waste. There's nothing more to say. Sean. I'm sorry that it's come to it's this. It's too late to be sorry. That's it. like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. Some other good news. I've almost got the teleporter working. Should be ready to pull you out whenever you need. Must be the reactor. This must be the reactor. We'll cover you while you plant the charge. The sooner we get out of this radiation, the better.
need to get out of here and fast before they figure out what we've done. Sturgis, are you reading me? We're done down here. Zap us back to the relay room. Yeah, I would, man. Please, but, uh, don't leave this me kid here. showed up, says he's you. the general's son. Authorization one, Y, R, three. All right, you can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? Thank you for your cooperation. Yes, I mean it. Now let's get out of here. I'm glad you are here to save me. Let's get out of here. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. You didn't leave anything Attention behind, did you? All set to get out of here? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. You press that button extra hard when you get there. I'll see you on the other side. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Evacuation order issued. Authorization. Why? Oh. Sturgis figures this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.